welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna do something that I really wanted to get up a couple months ago, or at least a month ago, before the summer actually started, but it's better late than never, and it's still, I think, a little bit relevant because it is still so hot, and we are in the um, very middle, we're actually not even in summer yet, like it's not technically summer when I film this, so maybe this is a good time, but I'm gonna go over my top longest lasting foundations now. I have a lot of foundations in my collection. I have a lot of foundations that last a long time on me. That's not what I picked for this video. What I picked for this is the longest lasting foundations for these foundations, if you prep well, will work on dry skin and they will most definitely work on oily skin. There is one that's gonna be reversed, that if you prep well, it's gonna work on oily skin and it's just going to work on dry skin anyways. So these aren't necessarily like the longest lasting foundations on me, even though they do last forever. Like my Philosophy Skin Tint, my Josie Moran, all of those last a long time on me, but I would never recommend them. Well, the Philosophy Skin Tint I might, but like the Josie Moran, I would never recommend for oily skin. So these are ones that if you have oily skin or you just live in a very hot, humid climate where you're going to be sweating, these are the ones that you're going to want to maybe try out. So that's why I picked them. I have six of them. I'm not gonna go in any particular order, except I am going to save my favorite for last. This is not in my top five series, although it could be. I'm just doing this as like an extra because of the season that we are in. So let's get started. The first one I'm gonna talk about is the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. Now the Pro Longwear original foundation is also very long lasting. Um, I do actually stock that one in my kit, but this one is also waterproof. So I feel like it just kind of is a step up from all the rest. Um, it is a little bit thicker in consistency, but it's not, doesn't feel thick on the skin. It is very lightweight on the skin, and I feel like it's affordable, especially now that MAC is at Ulta and you can use your points. Um, this would be a good option. I will say a couple of things. This is the only one in the foundations that I'm gonna talk about that is not quite a full ounce. It is only 0.84 ounces. I don't know why they didn't make it a full ounce, but they didn't. And I do feel that the colors run a little bit lighter compared to other colors in the foundation range at MAC. For instance, if you are normally an NC25, I would go with an NC30 in this. It does oxidize a little bit, but I don't think it oxidizes enough to warrant getting the same shade you are in other foundations, if that makes sense. So normally I'm an NC25 in the winter, so I have NC30. And in the summer, I really could use like NC35, NC37 if they carry that in this line, I'm not sure. But it does, it is like a very water resistant formula and I think it's perfect for the summer because it will last you all day. The next is another one from MAC. Um, this one is just, I cannot say enough good stuff about this. It's the MAC Face and Body. I carry this in my kit. This one is the color C2. I just picked one out. Um, I also have C3, which is what I wear in the summer. And then I have three or four other colors in my kit. This is a wonderful skin-like, does have more of a dewy finish, but can easily be mattified with like a blotting powder or something like that. But it is the most skin-like of all the ones that I'm going to talk about. Um, it also is the lightest coverage. Apply it with my fingers. It's one of those ones where you put in your hand what you're going to use, and when you rub it in between your hands, you can feel it starting to get a little bit tackier and it's a little bit harder to rub your fingers together and that's the same thing it does on your face. So I feel like using your fingers to apply this to the face, at least the base layer is the best way to go and then you can use a brush or even your fingers again to kind of build it up on the areas that may need a little bit more coverage or you can just use a concealer. It's such a gorgeous finish. It does have some silicone in it but it is mainly based in water. It is going to last you all day long. Even if you have oily skin, I do recommend this. Um, prep well, set well, and you will be good to go with a beautiful, gorgeous, skin-like, long-lasting foundation. The next one is the only drugstore foundation that I'm gonna talk about, and really the only drugstore foundation that I think is a must-have, and it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is my personal one. It's 104 Golden Beige. I'm actually almost done with it, this. This would be the second bottle that I've gone through of this foundation. It is a demi matte finish, um, oil-free, 
and it does claim to last up to 24 hours. I have never worn it for 24 hours, but I have worn it a very long time and it does not budge. It's not cakey, but it is very full coverage and it will last you through sweat, through humidity, through oils. It's just a very good, very affordable foundation. And I think that, I've said it before, it doesn't have the best color range, but being the affordable price that it is and being that Ulta always does like buy one, get one half off or you know even 40% off the whole line, they're always doing some kind of sale like that. You can easily make this cheaper and buy a couple of colors to mix together to make your perfect color and it will be still cheaper than buying a high-end foundation and it just really, I cannot, I cannot, recommend this enough. Anytime a client will ask me, um, you know, what's your favorite foundation and they tell me they don't want to be spending, you know, $55 on an Armani foundation or $65 or whatever, that is always the one that I recommend to them. It's the easiest for them to get their hands on and I have yet to have someone email me or text me and tell me they didn't like it, but they always text me and tell me how much they do like it. So an amazing foundation. Okay, this one might take a little bit of y'all by surprise if you've been following me for a while and saw my original video on this foundation. I was sent, okay, let me tell you what it is, the Makeup Atelier Paris Waterproof Liquid Foundation. I did a whole review on this, I don't know, it's been a while, like when it first launched on Beautylish, on this and the concealer. I still don't like the concealer. I did not like the foundation in that video. So somebody saw my review, um, she owns like a salon or a boutique or something in California and she carries Makeup Atelier and she messaged me and said, you know, I would really like to uh, send you another bottle. I feel like um, they've reformulated the foundation and I would really like you to give it another chance because I stand behind it 100%. I think it's excellent and I was like, you know what, I'll try it. So she sent me a, a color up from what I tried in that video because it was a little bit light. So I'm in the color FLW3Y. I also emailed the company or messaged them on Facebook and the CEO herself responded to me and said that uh, she got the lot number of my old one and she said that, you know, it's not expired, but they have changed the formula a little bit on it. And so that is probably why I like this one so much more than the old one. And I really do. Um, it is a waterproof foundation. It does go on beautifully. If you want me to do an, another video on this, um, kind of an updated review, please let me know. I'd love to show you how it works. But this is being a waterproof foundation. It will last you forever. The coloring is so hard to determine when you're buying it from Beautylish. Um, but again, I'm at FLW3Y and the color name is Nude. But anyways, I just, I want to thank you to her for sending this to me because I would have never known how good this foundation actually is now versus the one that I tried before if she hadn't. So um, if you're wanting a nice full coverage, very, very, very stay in place foundation, this is a good one to try. Now I'm down to my last two. This one is one that oily skin girls may not think that they can wear, but with a good skin prep, it will last you all day long. It is still in my top five foundations and forever will hold a place. This one is actually one that's in my kit and I almost need to repurchase it because I use it that much. It's the Hourglass Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. Okay, so that's like, I'm really squeezing the bottle, bottle on this and I've only had it since April. That's how much I use it. This is actually in the color beige. Um, it does have an SPF 15, but I do not find it has any flashback in photos. And I think it is so gorgeous. I will put like the original review that I did somewhere up here. It's, it's hard to beat this foundation in my eyes. It does have a little bit of a radiance to it, but it is still going to stand the test of time when it comes to oily skin, in my opinion. I use it on oily skin clients. In fact, I, I mix it a lot with my top pick um, and it creates just a gorgeous, gorgeous, flawless, luminous, but long lasting finish to the skin. And honestly, I cannot recommend this enough. I think that if you have never tried this, please go get a sample of it. Um, I know a lot of y'all have bought it since that video review that I posted. I think that was like last summer. And a lot of y'all have told me how much you like it. And I'm so glad to hear that. I love to hear that you like my recommendations. This is just a very, very good product. I can't speak enough about it. 
And finally, what I'm wearing on my face today, I did have to add a little bit of the Becca Aqua Luminous foundation into it because I needed it to be a little bit darker than it was. I'll get to that part because I think that that is another awesome quality to this foundation, but it is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Foundation. Nothing, and I repeat, nothing in my collection, nor have I ever tried before in the past, has held up like this foundation. It will not go anywhere. I have cried in this foundation. I have been stuck in the rain in this foundation. Any possible like wet, sweaty condition you could possibly find yourself in, I have found myself in in this, in this foundation and it holds up so well. I am over and over and over amazed at the longevity of this foundation. Now back to the me mixing the Becca in to make it a little bit darker. That is another thing I love so much about this foundation because nothing in my collection that I can think of is a better mix-in foundation than this with, than this is, excuse me. I think that this honestly could be mixed with any other foundation you own and it will look good. It will bump up the longevity. It will not hinder the finish of another foundation, but it may help it. For instance, the Becca is a little too luminous for me and the only reason I use it is to mix in with more matte foundations or to make foundations darker. So mixing it with this, took down a little bit of the matteness, even though I do feel like this is not a flat matte by any means and still looks gorgeous by itself. But this helped the Becca Aqua Luminous not look so extremely dewy and wet, which when I use it by itself, it has a tendency to do, which is probably why I don't use it by itself most often. I could mix it with this. This is one of my favorite, favorite mixtures to use on clients. Um, I love it, I had to grab them, with the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops or really any other illuminator. Um, what else? I mean, I've, honestly, it would mix with anything. It mixes great with oils. If you have a little bit of a face oil you want to put in there, it mixes good with moisturizers. If you want to maybe tint it down a little bit and make it a little bit less coverage, it does have a very strong medium to fill, full coverage. I will, again, link where I've done a whole video on this. It cannot cannot be beat in my opinion when it comes to long wear. I think it I think it lasts longer and holds up better than the double wear. I think it lasts longer and holds up better than the Lancome 24 hour. I think it lasts longer and holds up better than anything. Have I gotten that point across yet? Do you kind of get where I'm saying coming from? Because this is so good. Okay. If you have oily skin, go out and buy it right now. If you have uh, dry skin, Honestly, prep really well and add a little bit of oil into it. You're gonna really love the finish, I personally think. Again, a lot of y'all have said you bought it since that video and say you like it. Now, a lot of y'all might just be nice and not wanna tell me that you hated it if you bought it, and that's fine too. But the, all of the um, feedback that I've gotten since then is that everybody that's tried it loves it or they've been using it before I made the video and they, you know, it's one of their all-time favorite foundations. So I honestly, out of all of these, say definitely go get this. Second choice is this. All the rest are good too. I mean, they're all my top picks. So hopefully this helped you out a little bit. Um, if you are in the market for a new foundation because you find the ones that you have maybe aren't holding up to the heat and humidity um, that you have in your area or you're going on vacation and you want something that's gonna hold up a lot better than maybe what you have in your collection, I would definitely try any of these out. I don't think you will be unhappy with the results. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and I gave you a little bit of helpful information regarding long lasting foundations. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and as always, I hope you all have a very blessed day.